Hello and welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul and this is the daily one car tarot reading for September 26th, 2023. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. And if there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. All right. Now, this is going to be a general energy for the day, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger. And the general energy for today, September 26th, 2023, is... Oh, a Seven of Swords. We've been getting a lot of Swords energy uh, lately, and... I feel with the Seven of Swords, we really need to focus on the things in our lives that might be distracting us from our central purpose. Um, too often we think we have a particular goal or a particular work that we're involved with or a path that we're on, um, but we may in fact have kind of multiple um, multiple egos, right? Uh, different times of the day, we have different interests. We have different intentions. We have different desires that need to be filled. Um, it's kind of the, the decisions you make at the end of the day are not always the decisions that you um, adhere to when you wake up in the morning, right? So there are a lot of kind of separate entities living within us. Um, maybe literally, right? But at least as far as our, as our consciousness goes, there's always this struggle for unity, right? To make everything that we do kind of uh, subservient to the one goal, the one purpose. And that's kind of a sticky situation because the, the goal or the purpose or the will uh, is not easily defined. So we can't say, well, it is, it is my will to be... Um, I don't know, a carpenter or uh, a filmmaker or something. And then everything that I do has to revolve around being that filmmaker or that carpenter or that, you know, a painter or something. Um, or data entry like I did for 15 years. Uh, so it's, it's difficult because I say a lot of the time on this channel that the will is not particularly what you're doing, but how you're doing it, right? So it could literally be anything, but if it doesn't have that feeling of unity, of wholeness, if it's not something that um, is kind of at the back of your mind all day, every day, and everything you do kind of goes into that, um, if it doesn't have that kind of feeling, then maybe it's not, well, maybe it's not our Ace of Swords, right? So it's one aspect of this card that I think we need to look at. And the other aspect is simply the distractions of our own mind. When we set about on a particular task, um, it seems as soon as you, you take an oath, as soon as you make a decision, that ace of swords right in the middle, a million things start conspiring to push you off of your path. Right, to distract you with other things. Your mind starts playing tricks on you. You start getting kind of uh, lured away by other activities, other interests. It's like I use the example of me trying to pick uh, which book I'm going to read next. Right. Um, in the afternoon, I might think, okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to read some Greek mythology, or I'm going to read uh, a Sufi uh, story, or something. And then by the end of the night, I had a thousand other ideas of things that felt equally as alluring as, you know, my first, my first pick. So um, it might not be so much what we pick, but the fact that we can pick something and stick to it, that we can pick something and resist all of the other little daggers, whether they're coming from outside or coming from within us, that try to push us aside and get us to change course, okay? There's another aspect of this card, which is changing course, which is understanding that sometimes we need a little bit of course correction, right? So I'm not advocating that we, um, that we take an oath, that we make a decision, and under no circumstances do we ever deviate from that plan. Well, we have to also be flexible. 
right? The will has to be firm and adamant, but also flexible. It's one of them kind of paradoxes. So I think there's a lot going into this card. It's the Seven of Swords. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's the Seven of Swords. It is futility. It is kind of the, the futility of the mind itself trying to sort these ideas out. Um, thinking about things and coming to conclusions and collecting data and sifting through data and entering data and analyzing is all good, good practice. Um, but it doesn't replace the actual execution of the will, the doing, right? So we have to be careful with this card. It is a valuable uh, tool, but we, we've got to kind of keep it in check, right? And that's always, always with this channel. When we get an air card like this, a three, a five, a seven, a nine, uh, we always do an affirmation card. And we have... It's no different today for the daily. Uh, we have our language of flowers. We have our affirmation card. So we're going to end this video with one simple affirmation from this lovely, lovely deck. We have uh, the Stephanotis. Cooperation, it says. Take the hand offered or ask. So sometimes when we are we're on this Ace of Swords kind of trajectory. Sometimes we might need to uh, invoke a little cooperation, right? Cooperation not only from other people around us that could assist us, but cooperation from our own mind, right? If these, are, if these other daggers are just other aspects of our ego or other little personalities within us, um, maybe we need to find a way to unify all of our forces and have the cooperation within ourselves. Um, as much as we need cooperation from other people in our lives, right? I hope that makes sense. I hope that doesn't sound too far out there. Um, so I like that, the cooperation. Anyway, I want to thank you for being here. As always, uh, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and remember that I thank you and I love you very much.